bloody noisy, that, isn't it? Morning, welcome to today's video. Uh, we're just hanging outside Jam HQ at the moment. Heading upstairs in a minute, because George has got something cool to show us. Today, my main jobs are packing my bike, because tomorrow, flying to America and riding the whole of the West Coast. We'll be fine, mate. Commit to the cause and all that jargon. It's only the West Coast. It's not like it's the East Coast. Is that harder? Well, it's for the hipsters. Would you like some more water? You're a I've bit recovered from yesterday. Yeah. I had the worst hay fever I've ever had ever. Cool dudes. He's not wearing any casts. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, you haven't seen them. You're, You're more free like me. of casts. <laughs> Wow, yeah, look how much strength wow. I have in my... Oh. Mm. Three, I mean, that. This is my next two weeks worth of coffee from workshop. It's nice, it's a square box. Mwah. This is my new phone, one broke yesterday. Talk about best customer service in the world, Atticus, Bibs. They had like one fault. One fault. One pair of shorts. One pair of shorts. I've just got a new set of bibs. Cheers, Jimmy. Your new phone. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yes. The scroll, <laughs> the scroll of Instagram on this guy. Imagine how many apps you could fit on your home screen. Oh, mate. Just one. One top left corner. Grinder. Time. Grinder. <laughs> yeah. We're in a lift. We're in a lift. We're in a lift. lift. Got stuck here the other day. Did you? And we nearly took the stairs until. Oh. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Bam. Oh, they came out really well. Look at that little bit. They came out really well. Oh, it's got my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that looks great. Basically, Jam have helped me make some t-shirts to kind of help support the channel. You can't rely on advertising on YouTube at all because that video is getting demonetized all the time. So we've done this as a bit of a, you know, a nice way. If you want to support the channel, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. <laughs> and you've got Jimmy to hand sew every single one of these on. <laughs> thank, thank you, man, because you designed all of these. Boop. Nice one, man. Yeah, it's all right. That fits very well, so you just choose that at random. <laughs> And then I say, where can people get these if they want them? Uh, link in the bottom through to our little tuck shop. Do you also sell Freddos? Maybe. Fudge, we need to get some of them. And some and fudge. Some fudges. And some branded fudge. Jam branded fudge. <laughs> Jam I go to a tuck shop and, they, and they only sell them t shirts, so I'm disappointed. <laughs> you're not allowed to wear that though unless you're in a lift. Do you want me to go get in a yeah. lift? Off you go. Okay. <laughs> See you later. That's 160 kilometres, mate. Yeah, from the airport. From the airport. Yeah. But someone's drawn in the sea as well. They've drawn some funny little squiggles in there. I think James has drawn that on the sea. James has drawn that on the sea. Doodling. Uh, go back, maybe. Yeah. So, like, we've planned the whole thing on Kamut. They're right. helping us with the trip. Yeah. What we're going to do, once we've finished the ride every day, I'm going to do, like, a swipe up on Instagram, put the um, route in my video description as well, oh, so, so you can, can see, see what exactly done. what we ended up doing as oh, well. Because I'm pretty sure we're not going to end up sticking to it but if i can if i follow you on here i can see where you're going anyway so day two you got to 220 kilometers yeah with almost four thousand meters straight up yeah that sounds like a good day out are you sure you're gonna be able to do that boss james might not be able to <laughs> james has got a hurty knee Hurt, has he mm. oh he's, he's bike fit uh don't worry you get to stop at the chevron fuel station after 14.8 kilometers mate. yeah it'll be fine ralph's supermarket you're not going to travel far between those two points are you yeah. 14, so 5, these 5, um, are like their highlights. Ah, so right. people have already done commute trips yeah, and then yeah. put highlights ah, of where we should be going ha, ha, ha. so we don't get stranded in the is desert. That, is that where the photos come from as well? So people have already done a similar route. And yeah, they put, put photos, photos on. on. Day three is a biggie, 257 kilometers. You're basically doing like a mini grand tour. So the 22 point... <laughs> Chris, the look Chris gave me then. <laughs> the the two, know, 257 like Ks. <laughs> You're done. Enjoy lunch. See you soon. Catch Thanks you later. for the shirts. Questioning, no beginning, no end to it. I've been losing my selfishness, telling the truth more often. Her breath is minty as peppermint, but I'm up against So, excuse me being in the garden. Uh, I'm in a bit of a rush trying to get this bike packed. Here's a quick rundown of all the parts. The frame is an 8 bar mitter. This is a 3 in 1 frame set, so you can use it for cyclocross, uh, gravel stuff, and road. Currently, I have it set up for road, which means road fork. And the dropouts, I don't know if you can see in there, you can slide these back so you can get bigger tyre clearance. It's got a mechanical Ultegra on it, which will be handy because, well, I don't want to carry an extra charger, the i2. Long cage mech, nice big cassette, 32 on there I think. Hydraulic disc, obviously with hydraulic disc shifters. 12-1 tyres, brand new set, so hopefully no punches. 
Most of our riding's gonna be done on roads. I can't really manage rough surfaces because my hands at the moment. Wheels are the new spin on these fat boys. Uh, he's redone the graphics recently. There isn't too many changes to them because they were already such a good wheel to start with. Drew sent me these in the last couple of days and James is actually gonna be riding them as well. Super fat, work amazingly well with 25 mil tires that sit nice and wide. For the sake of ease, I've actually nicked the seat post off my other bike. So it's the pro one off my other bike and specialized Roman because I know I get on with it. Now onto something pretty special, probably the most fancy pannier rack you're ever gonna see. It's carbon fiber made by a company called Tailfin. Basically it comes with a special quick release uh, that you put through, it clamps onto that. That means you can fit it on pretty much any road bike, even race bikes that are not drilled uh, for pannier rack. I have a feeling I'm gonna be lumbered with all of the stuff this trip. A few more cool products that I'm taking to America. The Z-Lock by Hiplock, super light, Combination lock that uh, is brilliant if you are running into a cafe and you want to make sure your bike is safe or you are riding across America and you don't want to carry something like that. Lights. Lawrence and James are taking uh, quite hefty front lights. I've opted for two rechargeable cat eye lights. Uh, one of these will be on the forks. Rear light obviously doesn't have to be as bright, but USB chargeable again. I just have to go and get this. Uh, they finally released the embargo so I can show you. This is a Wahoo Element Bolt, uh, lighter than normal Wahoo. They've released yellow and red ones of these. They're mega limited edition and have probably sold out by the time you watch this video. I'll put links down below to um, all of the We're In A Lift t-shirt and all that stuff in the Jam Tuck shop. We thought it would be a nice way for people to support the channel because it's definitely hard keeping stuff going when you, well, break both your arms. As you can probably tell, I'm mega excited for this trip and I hope you guys will enjoy following the journey. As usual, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys probably at the airport.